these Spanish greyhounds are known as galgos. Today they're showing off their hunting talents. Their keepers have taken them to a field outside of Madrid. A hare is startled and bolts. The battle begins. Two galgos are set loose and chase it at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. The galgo that catches and kills the hare wins. Many here got the taste for this kind of hunting from their fathers and grandfathers. It's a sport, it's tradition and passion. We invest a lot of time in these dogs, a lot of work and money, often at the cost of our families. The hare is dead. Jesus Navarro is proud of his winning galgo. Chola is two and a half years old, a perfect age for hunting. Older dogs aren't quick enough to win the race to their prey. This galgo is older. He was abandoned. Animal welfare activists found him and are now taking him to a shelter. Susana Rubio says this is just one of many cases of galgos being abandoned when they're no longer fit for hunting. As soon as the hunting season begins, the number of stray galgos on the streets, or in empty buildings like in this case, shoots up massively. The dogs are tried out, and if they're no longer fast enough, they're just cast aside. This shelter is taking care of 80 galgos at the moment. Most of them are quite old. David Zurdo says the situation is intolerable. He campaigns against hunting with galgos and against a breeding that only gives the youngest and fittest a chance. It's embarrassing how people treat animals in this country. I met people abroad who owned a galgo, and they told me it had been abandoned in Spain. It's a disgrace that people would do that. Hunting hares with dogs is banned almost everywhere in the EU, but not in Spain. Here, the tradition is well and alive, and Abraham Corpa is proud of that. He heads an organization that defends this kind of hunting with greyhounds. That's a lie going around in Europe. Galgos are treated well in Spain. We've just got so many animal rights activists against us. But it's all just a huge misunderstanding. Pero es un error grandísimo. José Contera would disagree. He's already rescued many galgos from the streets. He estimates that some 50,000 are neglected, abandoned, or killed each year. The dark side of a heralded tradition and a business. A good galgo fetches a pretty sum. There's always someone who will spend a lot of money on it. There are people who do nothing but breed galgos to sell them. It's a lucrative but often cruel business. José Contera has taken many photos of mistreated galgos. But it's hard to find the perpetrators. This dog's throat was slit open to remove the microchip implanted there. That way the owner can't be identified. He just hung the dog from a tree, and that was that. Jesus Navarro is a passionate hunter, but he can still understand why pictures like these are harming the image of this much-loved tradition. He says that he would never do something like that and thinks it's a shame that some Galgo owners give hunting a bad name. I can only speak for myself. Chola's mother is 11 years old and she'll stay with me till she dies. Chola can also count on staying with her keeper until she dies. <whistles> Meanwhile, the hunt goes on, but this time the hare gets away. Good for the hare, but not for the Galgos. The less success they have, the slimmer their own chances of survival.